Who's Afraid of Relativism is kind of a sequel of sorts. Um, it picks up on a similar strategy that I tried to undertake in my earlier book called Who's Afraid of Postmodernism. That earlier uh, book took on French theorists who sort of embodied a lot of what people identify with postmodernism. Uh, Jacques Derrida, Michel Foucault, Jean-Francois Lyotard. Uh, Who's Afraid of Relativism, the new book, um, takes up what Nancy Murphy at Fuller Seminary calls Anglo-American post-modernity, you could say. So instead of focusing on continental sources of the French variety, um, Who's Afraid of Relativism takes up questions of postmodernism, but this time in conversation with what we might call analytic philosophy or Anglo-American philosophy. And in particular, I um, engage the tradition that we call pragmatism. That really um, gets launched in some ways by um, Ludwig Wittgenstein. Uh, it's picked up in a certain stream in a very influential way by an American philosopher named Richard Rorty. And then I look at how it's landed and been expanded by a contemporary philosopher named Robert Brandom. And the idea is that in many ways, I think people at both a popular level and in some ways at a scholarly level identify postmodernism with relativism. And uh, this philosophical stream from Wittgenstein through Rorty and up to Brandom is sort of a, a robust philosophical expression of a kind of relativism. And so I'm wanting to invite Christians to think more carefully about charges of relativism. What do we mean by that? What's at stake in that claim? Does that critique land? Um, by engaging this um, more sort of American stream of philosophy. Uh, so I hope that in some ways it functions as a complement, a companion to who's afraid of postmodernism, but I also hope that it's something that um, engages Christian philosophers who tend to work on the analytic side of the spectrum, uh, and yet nonetheless bump up against some of these questions of postmodernism.